Tonight, bank plans will interfere with any plan at HKDI. Bank plans were following his uncle's car on the motorway. And bank plans were staying overnight at the Maoming City. Hello, welcome to Top Travel ep Episode 10, and I'm, and I'm here to write out the invite, invite my co-host, Phil. Hello. You still remember him? <laughs> this, is where, this is where I did interview him before in, in the Zhao Zhongyi Museum. Yeah, I still remember yeah, I that? Remember that was a great time. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, Phil, <clears throat> yeah, before I I'm, I'm started doing the show in Episode 10, I just, I just want you to know more about in, in English culture, and I believe you you don't remember any, anything in, in England, and can you share, share something, something a little bit more about it? Well, uh, in England, people, the, the whole environment is very different from Hong Kong. Firstly, the weather is very different. In Hong Kong, it's very, very hot and humid. In England, it's normally more cool and dry, which uh, might be a bit colder, but generally it's nicer in the summer, <laughs> but much, uh, uh, very bad in the winter because you get very cold. Uh, <coughs> and for the environment, I mean, there are a lot more greenery in England, like lots of parks, lots of trees, lots of wildlife and so on. While in Hong Kong, it's, although it's much more convenient, there's not really a lot of uh, easily accessible uh, wildlife, like parks and so on. And thirdly is the people, which is a bit, the whole uh, attitude, people's attitude is a bit different because in Hong Kong, everything is geared towards development and fast paced, so like process, progress and so on. But in England, it's more Normally, uh, unless you're in London, it's normally more uh, relaxed and laid back. So, very different. Um, let's, let's talk about myself about, about the, a little bit more about the Chinese culture. There, but the set of rules in here is a it's a little bit quite similar in in English culture. All, always have a set of set of rules as my experience. Yeah, I, I believe I believe it. I follow following the Chinese culture. It's a it's a quite similar, just like like in England and. But the only one thing that English can can do, it doesn't have it is uh, going to get the pocket money in every Chinese Chinese New Year. Just like in England, every, every single day in in every single time they have a they they have a Christmas they have a Christmas they have a Boxing Day they give a, give a present to you. Yeah, sounds sounds a little different. Yeah, yeah. but children in Hong Kong and China are very lucky because they get both Christmas and Chinese New Year. In England, you only get Christmas. You only get one present from. Each, each year, but in, in China you get two times, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, you know, but, yeah. oh, all right, all right, let's, let's go on then. And yeah. So, uh, I'm coming up in, in the episode 10, and I, unfortunately you cannot, you cannot follow, follow me to go, and yeah, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be able to do, do my show myself, and I, I think, are you interested, are you looking forward to, for my trip, I'll, I'll be going for 330 kilometers Kilometers far away for, from Hong Kong to, to Maoming City, and I believe everybody it is not gonna be it is not gonna be famous, but it is really worth for you to, to learn more about it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, every place has its value and its uniqueness, and wherever you go, whether it be London or or, or your city is called. What city is called Mao Maoming. Maoming city. However famous a place, every single place has its uniqueness and its history and culture. So I believe it's good that you go out and explore more into the world and wh wherever that place be gain more knowledge from it oh okay and please please stay tuned okay and yeah. okay now this time um have you have you ever seen one of my special guests i have been interviewed before in hk campus she, that 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 is another another girl he, here i had interviewed before oh yes i have seen several girls which one which one is about for, for episode 10 uh, oh yeah yeah i i think i remember yes Okay, now it's time to be head on to the to one of the one of the star in the race of Ray Price traveler. I mean, I mean the special guest. Um, some say she she asked the question. <laughs> it's just like a like the kindergarten children. <laughs> yeah. But when I talk to, talk to her during the show in here, but but she she's just just like a newly person. She she obviously don't have any travel experience. Yeah. <laughs> All we know is. Yeah. Let's see the video. Yeah. Enjoy. Hello, everyone. Do you still remember me now? Probably wondering why I'm coming back in these places. Uh, yeah. Yeah, surely this is my fi 
this is my final deal with my PC in here and uh, yeah, this is my season three in here. I believe everybody are very glad to, to know that I'm still here. I'm still here, and after all, I, I will be no longer in in here in HK at, at more, and I'll be continue to work very hard and continue to let me let me have a let me have a wonderful trip here. Okay, so before I'm gonna be leave up in these places, literally, this is re really my my last time to come in here in these places. Okay, do you really want to know who's my final final special guest here? Okay, let's say hello. Please, we're pleased to welcome to Ellie. Hello. Oh, hello, Ellie. <laughs> oh, yeah. How long have you been? Uh, how, how's it going? Right? It's good. How are you? Um, uh, it's been a wonderful time in my in my life. Uh, yeah. How long have you have you been in Hong Kong? I got to Hong Kong um, nearly four months ago in August. In August. Wow. Yeah. It seems to be. And enjoyable. Uh, where, did, where did you visit? Um, I've been all over in uh, Hong Kong. Um, I really like hiking and going to the beaches and to the islands. So I've been to Lama Island and Cheng Chow Island. I've been to Sai Kung and Sheko and I've been trying to explore like and get out of the city more and, and see the more rural, spacious parts of Hong Kong. Oh. It seems that you know more experience about that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, uh, as you as you can mention that you love to enjoy your your time at at the wonderful beach and uh, yes, there was only one one wonderful places I, I will recommend you to go first in the episode seven and the episode episode eight. I, I have been shown before. It's in it's in Helen Island in San in Sanya in Ximing Bay. Oh, I've not heard of that place before. I haven't been heard about the place before. Yeah, I'm. I actually went to Tishimei Bay, the Meridian Resort Hotel. It's one of the wonderful places. But I'm quite jealous. I could uh, cannot be playing playing the water motorbike in here in my life. I want to try. Me too. That sounds like fun. <laughs> um, don't worry, then. I still have many many chances. I don't I don't have to always traveling. That there are many beautiful places on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where else do you recommend for me to go in Hong Kong? Where else? Um. Yeah. Okay, um, in Hong Kong there are there are many famous staff who have been working in a restaurant. Restaurant, and it seems to be Hong Kong is for, for small places. As my experience, uh, Psycho, you can you can try to take a ferry to see see the golf golf over there. Just take a ferry ferry boat over. There. To Psycho? Yeah. Oh, cool! I've never done that before. Oh, sh surely you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so what about? Uh... What about restaurants? What restaurants can you can you tell me to go and visit? Shall I eat at? Um, yeah, that is in that is in Wing Wa Wing Wa restaurant. It's, okay. So where a, where is that restaurant? You can find it in Kowloon Bay or in in Yunnan. And I, I would first recommend you to go and go to Yunnan. Yunnan is one of the place, places where you should you should go and visit in the new territories. Oh, okay. I don't go to the new territories very often, so that would be a good excuse for me to go. Yeah, you you don't have to be always always visit in Ka in the Kowloon or maybe in Hong, Hong Kong Island. That they have a small places. Yeah, and sometimes Hong Kong Island can be pretty expensive as well. The restaurants there. Yeah, especially in Jumbo. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what in Hong Kong in Hong Kong Jumbo is a it is a very exp expensive to, to death. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's what I found. <laughs> mm, the, no, once I have been traveled before, and and my and my parents are uh, always say that this is pretty. Pretty much expensive, and no, nobody in restaurant they will they will charge you for <laughs> for, for high expensive. Yeah, I know what you mean, definitely. I tend to try and find cheaper restaurants in Kowloon because that's where I live. So yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let me ha let me ask you another question. Uh, except you were traveling to Philippines, what where else you were planning to do after you work here, or maybe if an another holiday has come. Yeah, so as I said before, I'm going to go to the Philippines this Christmas and then afterwards, I don't really know. My plan is to see as much of Asia as possible. So I want to go to Indonesia, definitely, because my sister went there last year and she said that it was amazing. And um, I also want to go to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia. I have a lot of big plans for next year, but I need to see what time I have and what money I have before I make any big decisions. Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. What about, can you, 
can you give me any recommendations on where to go in what Asia? Else? Oh, there's a really a tough, tough places, and yeah. uh, maybe in Hong Kong, if it, if I don't have any recommendation, maybe I could, I can recommend you. Maybe I, I could recommend you to go to. Um, how have you have you ever went to Thailand before? To Thai oh No, I haven't. What can I do there? It's very very close to the airport. You can you can go into Tongchung and just and just take the take the tra traveling bus, a sh shuttle bus. Is it in on Lantau Island? <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I need to go to Lantau Island. I haven't, I haven't been going there enough. I think there's, so there's before, a lot to see there. So before you have been traveling, before you, have, you know, before you come to Hong Kong, you didn't visit a few of the places. No, no, I came straight to, oh, oh, straight yeah. to Hong Kong from England over the summer. So uh, I haven't had time yet to see anything. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe. Maybe if you're not in, when you find the Hong Kong is very boring, are you interested in traveling in, in mainland China? I am, I definitely am. I wouldn't say that Hong Kong is boring, but I think that I definitely want to try and see as much as I can of Asia and China. So I'm very keen to go to uh, Beijing or Shanghai maybe, or maybe even Shenzhen. If, cause in Beijing, places. I could offer you a help. You, can you? you? Oh, great. So what, what can I do in... Beijing, what should I do? In Beijing, you can have, have a lot of things to do. You can watch the talent show in the in the Kung Fu show here. here. Can you? Yeah. A Kung, Kung Fu show? Yeah. What's that? What's that? It's a martial, it's a kind of a martial, martial arts, martial arts here. <laughs> Every, everyone knows that. Mm. In Chinese name, they, it is called Kung, Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Mm. Yeah. So uh, what about the food there? How's the food? How's the food? Uh, in Beijing, you can try to taste this, taste a different food in, in the Beijing style and, and, uh, and the Hong Kong and the, and the Canton and the Canton style. Okay. Yeah. I've heard mixed reviews about the food. I've heard that it can sometimes be a bit disgusting. Um, um don't, don't be saying that. Uh, yeah. it's a, it's a, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just telling tell you some, some tips here. And uh, yeah. the food can, that can be very, very good. You can, yeah. you can use your patient to, to give it a try. If you, if you don't. I think with the, with the food, it's important to know where to go. So if you can, if you tell me where good restaurants are, if I get recommendations from other people, then I won't have any bad experiences. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Um. So are you interested? Are you interested to know where, where you want to travel in Beijing? If you if you don't think in in Hong Kong, that can be visited anymore. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in Beijing, you can find you can find out the Great Wall, or you can try to take the trains. It's a city train. It's a, a city, city train. It's a city train only located in Be Beijing. It's not very expensive. You just only cost eight eight dollars to take train to train to walk right walk around Beijing. It's for yeah. See, this is where, where I've been finding information on the website. Have you ever been? I did. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially I like it, and I especially like to enjoy the watching watching shows and walking up on, on Beijing, walk, walking on the Forbidden City. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot about that. I think there's lots of interesting things to do. I definitely want to go. Uh, maybe you can you can try to ask ask him for the local Beijing if there are another another show yeah. show here for for martial art. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that's uh, that's cool. And so what you what you're going to do in um so bef what you're going to do in China, right? in Sorry. the future? What am I going to do in the future? Yeah. Uh, in terms of in Hong Kong or just generally? Um, in the future travel, I mean. Future travel? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I know I want to see a lot more of Asia before I, before I leave Hong Kong. So I definitely want to go backpacking in Southeast Asia. So Thailand and Vietnam and those places. I also really want to go to Japan. Uh, lots of students have told me that it's really amazing there and worth seeing. South Korea I'd love to see. There's so many, there's, you literally have Asia on your doorstep here. So I feel, usually it's so difficult for me to go traveling in Hong Kong, but it's so easy here. So I feel really lucky that I'm gonna have, hopefully have the opportunity to see so much of Asia. Hmm. So since, since I have been hurt a lot, you have more experience then. Uh, maybe, maybe one day when I'm gonna be doing the, doing the shows in the future, would you, would you, would you continue to watch? Yeah, of course I would. I think that your shows, uh, 
I haven't seen them yet, but I'm sure they'll be very useful and informative and I will definitely um, watch them when I'm deciding where to go travelling in Asia. Oh yeah, that's cool. You know how, how top tra travel actually come? Uh, it's very simple. I have been watching Top Gear for, for literally, for literally a, a year. Top Gear? Top Gear. Oh, I love that show. <laughs> so since I have been watching how Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and, and James Bay are actually doing a lot of casual here and, and let me inspire myself. I don't, I don't have to copy the ideas to make a Top Gear. This is impossible. And mm. I, will, I will make it myself as a top travel official. That's yeah. how my name is, is established. Oh. Oh, it's great. I think it's a really great idea and it is really useful as well for people like me who need advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's good, good to know that. And uh, yes, now it's time. I, I have to be back to the studio now. Okay, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, we need that. Okay, Th thank you very much then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ellie. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Back to studio. Now, earlier on, earlier on, a robot's got to be interviewed was with somebody else and a robot's attend in, in Phil's, pa Phil's parents' party. And then now, um, at the coming up in the 16th of August, I was able to depart from, from here in Hong Kong to Melbourne City by taking, taking the trains and, the, my, and my uncle's car. And I'll be able to traveling across for 320 kilometers and an hour to look on the long trip on the road trip here and yes so um since we have already facing for the economic downturn in here for a long time ago and I everybody's gonna be facing for the both challenge and the only one sensible idea that you can do that you that is going to you can save the money by by doing the trip and at the meantime it will be quite meaning meaningful that is going to Maumee City Maumee City is a is a quite far away it's, a, it's just a between in Highland Island and and Hong Kong and yes yes indeed I would have to take the train to Guangzhou first and then I would have to explain to you for the coming up for the coming up plan and the map have already been literally set in here all right all right then I'm very busy to prepare for my for my trip here and every equipment I need to be paid attention for so um now now once again I'm pretty pretty much exciting then okay okay I'll be able to do do any other report here in the air. Okay, okay, let's begin the trip. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Now, today it is my first day to be coming around to the Mami City. First of all, I'll be able to go to Guangzhou and look at my pa package. Right. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Thank you. Here, the waiting for the next next train to go and back to Guangzhou first. Uh, after all, we have to be taking the quick road first night. And the second day, we'll be able to go into the big land of city. Right. And okay. Okay, I'm feeling exciting then. And okay. Let's begin the trip. Thank you. Enjoy the show.
9 a.m. in the morning, Bangkok Airlines is now ready to be eat the breakfast, and then after all, we have to be continue the trip to the Mao Min City. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> this is the second day I'm in here right, right now. I'm going here in Guangzhou, and yeah, do you know where I'm going today? I'll be going to Mao Min City. <laughs> okay. Now, here the trip it is kind of going to begin right now. It is only a beginning. Hello everyone, the trip is a little bit picking up, but due to the situation by uh, some wheels have a, have a little bit temporary, temporary have a problem and uh, the trip will be begin will be begin delay soon. We are sorry for any inconvenience main calls.
鞋櫃面嗰度嘅，二十分鐘嘅。我俾咗阿姐你啲，啊你唔好行喎，大哥真係啊，分別時真係。我俾咗你哋㗎啦，我嘅鞋櫃面。但係個鞋櫃面係冇噶啦，係攞咗噶啦，即係開鞋櫃面嘅。
330 kilometers an hour and I'm just gonna be having 10 more kilometers an hour to go and I'll be eventually arriving in bed to ready to take my dinner okay my car it is kind of a little refueled it's kind of a little refueled now before I'm gonna be continuing the trip it's a little bit of a second time to be stopping here okay okay I'll be back in the car first and I'll explain to you later where I'm living in the hotel And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be eating the dinner. It is all over the garden for it's all over the garden. It's all over the garden for the seafood, and it's very close to, to the ocean. And later on, after after all, it, it is dinner, and I'll be able to take the sleep in here. And okay, okay, I'll be going the, going on the back. Oh, I'll be going on the car back. I'm going back to my car first. Okay, thank you. 是海邊那些 Now, since I have been literally riding for, the, for my uncle's car for a long time, but eventually I'm going to arrive in Miami City. It, it's nearly on the beach, but where it is a famous tourism places. And now I would really want you to see that the only one place is located there. Take a look there. Wow, wow, wow. Do you already know what this symbolizes for? They said they really want to be make sure they have to create, create a better, better harbor and it's very specialized. But it's not too far from the Highland Island that I believe I see. Alright, I'll see you later. So, if right now today I'm here to live in that kind of a hotel right here, that I could be able to see the beautiful ocean or I can be able to see, see the ocean if that there is blue or contaminated. Uh, unfortunately, I don't want to be able to stay in the hotel right over there, but I need to know the prices. Okay, let me go ahead and ask them first. Now, since I had already been asked, asked the question for the reception at the hotel hall, and they had already told me that the cheapest one would be 200 more, and the expensive one, there'll be five, 500 more. So, um, I don't know if I could be able to stay, stay here for, for tonight. Uh, I'll be able to find another one, don't worry about that. So every top's all thanks, please stay tuned.
10 a.m. in the morning, Bangalore Airlines is now ready to be going to exploring around the Maomin city. Hello there, and since after all we have already been here in Mami City for already the second day, and right, I actually feel like I actually going to take, take the dinner from, from the Vietnam, I really do feel like I'm in Vietnam, I'm not, I'm not here already in Mami City, so um, it's time to be in Bongxia, see you next time, okay, I'll see you next time, good night. Like and comment on our on our Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Thank you for watching the top channel. Bye.